Today we're going to take a look at the AirPods Pro second generation. When the first generation came out, it was arguably one of the best wireless earbuds with noise cancellation out there. As for a couple years till now, Apple finally released their second generation of AirPods Pro with some great features and updated functions as well. But is it really worth it to upgrade from the first generation if you just got it or still functional? The new AirPods Pro 2 looks and feels very similar to the first generation. The packaging is pretty much all the same but now we have four different sizes of ear tips with extra small and the default one on the AirPods itself is medium. And yes it is still using lightning cable instead of USB-C which is a very familiar move by Apple. However there's two other ways to charge your AirPods Pro second generation besides the lightning cable. One is by MagSafe which we all know by now and the other one is by using Apple Watch's charger. In a way this kind of compensates the amount of charging cable you have to bring along with you on a trip. Another new design on the AirPods Pro 2 is that we can now add linears on the case. However, Apple does not make them, so it doesn't come with one in a box. You have to buy them separately from third parties or if you're crafty enough, you can make your own. If you take a look at the earbuds by itself, the form factor is pretty much the same. The same size, dimension and everything except that there is a slightly different position of the sensor over here. But other than that, this feels very similar to the first generation. And right at the bottom of the AirPods Pro 2's case, we now have speakers, which makes a sound while charging or if you forgot where you left it at. The second generation now has a case in the Find My app, so you can play sound from the case in order for you to find it easily. By the way, if you mismatch your AirPods, say that you grabbed the wrong AirPods and put it inside your case, it'll chime and let you know that that's not your AirPods. We can also control the volume by swiping on the stem of the AirPods Pro. It's not exactly a button, but you'll feel like a response from the AirPods Pro while you're swiping up or down to adjust the volume. And to my surprise, it's actually very responsive. The swiping motion is very intuitive and it's also very accurate. I haven't had any problems with it so far. We can also use Face ID to further personalize spatial audios according to your ears. What's great about this is that the first generation of AirPods Pro also get these features too because it's more of a software feature. This makes watching videos and movies more immersive. It tracks your head left and right as well as up and down. So if you tilt your head up, the sound will be coming from like the bottom back of your neck, which is a very interesting experience. I'm really lucky that the AirPods Pro fits my ear quite comfortably in the first generation and it's pretty much the same with these. So they fit pretty well, they don't come off when I'm working out or running, even with like head shaking test or smiling test. The second generation of AirPods Pro featured an all new adaptive transparency mode where it lowers the volume whenever it detects loud noises. So basically it takes loud sound from your environment and make it not as loud. This is a great feature to have if you live in a city where you are commuting by walking or biking. And personally, I feel like the transparency mode on the AirPods Pro sounds more clean and real. Especially hearing my own voice while talking to the other person, the first generation sounded a bit more muddy or muffled in a way, whereas the second generation of AirPods Pro sounds more natural. As for the active noise cancellation, thanks to the new chip, Apple has claimed that the active noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro 2 is two times more effective at blocking out unwanted noise. And I have to say, the active noise cancellation on the new AirPods Pro 2, it's one of the most noticeable improvements compared to the first generation. Whenever you turn it on, it almost feels like you entered a sound-treated room in high school band or orchestra, where it's very quiet and peaceful. And it just works better than the first generation. So what about sound quality? At first, I thought it would be just like very minor upgrades from the first generation. But the new H2 chip and custom amplifier does make the sound a little richer and fuller, even with the bass too. Overall, it does sound better than the first generation, especially where the low end is more pronounced and clear. But I wouldn't say it's way better than the first generation of AirPods Pro. They just sound good and they do sound better than the first generation. So if you talk on the phone a lot using your AirPods, 
AirPods Pro, this is what it sounds like with the AirPods Pro second generation. And so far from my feedback, the second generation sounds a lot more cleaner than the first generation. Here's what the first generation sounds like. It's not too bad either. And if you don't talk on the phone using your AirPods Pro all the time, then I wouldn't say this is an issue. But if you do, this might be a deciding factor. The new AirPods Pro has better battery life with six hours instead of the 4.5, which is around 30% more compared to the old AirPods Pro. And we also get 30 hours total with case on the new AirPods Pro compared to the 24 hours that we used to have. Now to me personally, I rarely use my AirPods Pro, like not even close to six hours. That's like way too long for me. I think my max was like two hours and a half and that was like a little painful and uncomfortable. And it's not just with AirPods, any kind of earbuds, I just don't like to wear it that long. So battery life was never really a problem with my old AirPods Pro. However, with the extra batteries on the case, that means I don't have to charge my case as often as before. Again, everyone's different. So the longer hour battery life might be sufficient for you or it might be better. And plus, like longer battery with our tech is always good, right? Now, the biggest gripe I have with the new AirPods Pro is that they're still using the same material that's very easy to get scratches on. Like if you take a look at my old AirPods Pro, it's got a lot, like a lot of battle scars. The case gets scratched very easily. However, I do like the size of the case. It's been really good. I wouldn't really want to add another case on top of this case. I think it would be awesome if we can get more colors like the AirPods Pro Max since like this is the only color we get so far and I personally really really want a black one. So it doesn't look that dirty easily. However, if you do need to switch out your ear tips, Apple does sell that on their website. I believe it's like two sets for $7.99. And there's also other third party ear tips that you can add on and kind of pair it up with the AirPods Pro. That's also an option as well. But do keep in mind that using different ear tips will give you different sound. So definitely give it a try and see what kind of ear tips works better for you or specifically with the kind of music that you listen to. The first AirPods Pro already sound pretty good even though there are some great upgrades to the second generation of AirPods Pro. I personally don't think it's worth getting the new AirPods Pro based on just sound quality if you have the old AirPods Pro already unless bass and noise cancellation is very important to you. However, if your old AirPods Pro is suffering from battery life, which happens pretty often with these kind of wireless earbuds, the battery usually just keeps on going downhill, then yes, by all means, just get the new AirPods Pro. You will not be disappointed with the longer battery life. And if you're coming from a regular AirPods, then I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the sound quality and all of these extra features it has. Needless to say, if you're looking for a new pair of truly wireless headphones, these are pretty incredible and I highly recommend it. If you like to watch more videos like this about earbuds, definitely check out this video next. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.